Hello there! And I suppose I'm going to be talking most of this video because these guys ran into some ideas to do for today since we're still waiting for the... I haven't! I'm just letting him... Hello everybody and welcome to... Comic Game Room Show. And today... We have our special newest member of the CGM team. He's not so special anymore. Not yeah. so special anymore. <laughs> but but this is our newest member of the Comic Gamer Movie Show. He's our newest guy, and he is, and his department is anime. Anime mm -hmm. specialist. You, well, you gotta put the specialist because it makes it sound makes it special. Specialist. Well, because it makes you sound just you know special. Make, make it sound special. <laughs> anyway, so this yeah. is our anime guy. So we brought him in for that reason because apparently a lot of people like anime more than they do comics. So. I, wow. like, I like both. So, I Sean, watch a lot of anime. let's sit back, grab our popcorn, and just listen. All right, what's the news you got? What kind of news you got? Well, I don't know if you guys watched it, but uh, I watched the recent episode of Dragon Ball Super yesterday, which was awesome. I, 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 I keep forgetting that even I keep it is another level show. of Dragon Ball. Well, in Dragon Ball Super, it's actually taking a very... It's slow at first, but the animation's great. Like, okay. Right now, we're looking at... It's similar to where Battle of Gods was. Like, you see... Uh, you see Goku, he's farming, actually, at the beginning. He's oh, I, farming. I saw a little clip yeah, of that. Yeah. Him farming. Yeah, and then... Uh, farming? Like, I mean, he's not going out hunting centipedes and wolves and freaking out Bulma? No. Damn! This <laughs> is, like, at the beginning. Like, it's, like, right after the Boo Saga. So he's oh, farming right. new work. Right after the Boo Saga? You know, Hercule comes by at the end with his hush money. You know, like, ah, uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Saint is like, uh, Goku, Goku. I, 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 knew, I knew you beat Boo for me, so I'm just gonna get his money. Hey, so, you know, I just, shut up. <laughs> and he's like, you know how much you gave him? What? I, I think it's like a hundred million zenny. Damn! Well, but then again, remember that, that episode where he ate so much in that restaurant? And like, <laughs> yeah. Master Roshi goes up to the guy. That's all my prize money! No, it's, it's funny. He, he goes, um, I mean, the, the guy, the clerk at the restaurant goes, it's 470,000 zenny, sir. And he's like, what? <laughs> no, he ate that much? And then, like, Bulma goes, he ate 57 full-course meals. <laughs> really? <laughs> I lost track around 40. <laughs> I mean, good, that was young A lot of anime that. characters, a lot of the main shows. What is with anime and eating a lot? What well, is with I don't know. I know Goku. It kind of makes it Goku because he works out but so that's the thing. much. Well, that's the metabolism, same, too. The metabolism is, like, freaking out of this world. Well, I mean, you know they say, if you work out more, your metabolism gets yeah. better. And the more you eat and the more you work out, the more muscle mass and the more energy you're going to He's a Saiyan, though. He's like a natural-born warrior, though. That's true. Saiyans are, you know, I saw a shirt I loved. It said, I may have been born on Earth, but I'll always be from planet Vegeta. I'm like, I love it. That's a good one. I'm like, I love that shirt. So what other news you got? But, uh, okay. The recent episode is like, um, they're going to the Battle of Gods. Like right now, Beerus is on his way to the King Kai planet. He just got there. Like at the end of the episode, that's what they cut it off. Wait, so they, so wait, they merge Battle of the Gods with this new show? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe they're going to merge the movies with the show and see how it goes. I don't goes. know why, because in the Battle of the Gods, it's kind of sh it, it felt short. Like, like, like it went by really quick for me when I watched it. I watched it on YouTube, and it went by really quick. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only that, but a Resurrection of Freeze is coming to theaters. Um, oh, okay, good. Yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I saw that on um, why would you bring back when I was I mean, You could have made a whole new character, but nope, you got to go back from the old building. Hey, man, if it ain't, damn, if, right. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But Frieza was well. I guess well. He's the thing. That's Frieza's not well, well. That's the thing. Well, Frieza's not a cliche villain in the sense, as in like yeah, but he's Goku's arch rival. But yeah, he's our, well, He's the guy who pushed him to go Super Saiyan. Arch enemy, I should say. Arch yeah, enemy. that's true. He did. But I mean, he's not like your cliche villain, which is what I like about Frieza. But at the same time, like all he does is kill people. The only Fun. villain that's really well, he's Emperor. He's the cold Emperor Frieza. You know, he's like the only a, villain that's really stuck. His father is more well. powerful than he is. Funny enough, is he? Uh, I yeah, think they're on the same level, same power level. I mean, I, all I remember is just, I saw I saw the one time he got cut up by Matronix. Well, well, you know why that was? Well, no, 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 no. King Cold was actually in his second form. So his second, so so, and so like King Cold's second form is the equivalent of Frieza's final form. But so I, could you imagine King Cold's final form? Dude, well, here's, the, here's the thing I think about like on this one. I think about it like he still just got chopped up in like two seconds. But still, power it's, levels were introduced to prove their bullshit. That's, yeah, I guess you're right. Because then, then you think about it, Goku could easily hide his power level from the scouters. And they basically, that's what Tornar said, he said power levels were introduced to prove they were nonsense. Yeah, they said that all the time on, like, Death Battle when they talked about it. Mm -hmm. It's like, power level is hard to judge, that's why it's hard to judge Goku, because, you know, you know, it's hard his to power judge. power level is limitless. Power level. I can't say limitless, because he keeps getting killed. That's true. He's been killed, like, a dozen times. But, <laughs> no, but you know, he's he got a limit. And he got killed in the Saiyan Saga. Sacrifice he, for the greater good. And, let's see, he didn't... He, he died. We thought he died in the Frieza saga, but turns out he was alive. Man, man, he, he, the, he died in the Cell saga, Again, and he was still dead. Good. Yeah, and he was still dead for most of the Boo saga, but then he came back somehow. So, I don't I, how. so I'm like, I don't know. It's hard to say. He limit, but he's had a limit. Notice every time Goku's died, it's been to save the world. 
And he always comes back. And he died in the, he died Death in is the weird city. in Dragon Ball. Like, yeah, it's like when you die, you go to other Dragon Ball is weird because it made me think of death differently like in mm-hmm. Dragon Ball because when you die in Dragon Ball, it's not the end. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, like, it's like you did. No, I mean, might be back. I, I well, yeah, because well, because like I mean, like you watched Dragon Ball Z. Remember when uh, when Goku fell off the uh, snake way? Yeah, and he and he ended up in hell. Legit, yeah, he got that. And then and then he came back. They were just bad. Yeah, they're just too, they're too big ogres. That wasn't bad. Now. Yeah. So which soul and like all the souls like little clouds, which I thought were mm. kind of funny. It was like, all right, so single file line to climb Mount Needle, and then just you see like so the clouds is, climbing the needle. So what is Nimbus a cloud? Is Nimbus a soul? Line? No, that'd be kind of funny. Nimbus, that would be funny though. I'd be like, oh, he's a so soul, soul guy. Out out I wonder. He's a soul guy. Out they right. can make a whole thing about that if they want. I mean, to. if you guys wanted some entertainment to put on here for your videos, you want to react to the abridged Dragon Ball Z. That's nah. so funny. I don't like those react videos. Those really? are really weird. Seth really got a thing against react. Yeah, I like them. It's players. just like they're like, they're just pointless. I think they're, I just, think they're, funny. Well, maybe they're just, just there to get well, maybe views. Maybe you can just leave the room when we me and Mark and I will because <laughs> like, they're just there to get views. That's all they're there for. Especially when people monetize the You want views, don't you? Yes, but <laughs> I don't want them in that way. That's a cheesy way and a cheap way to do it. No, it's not like we're talking about doing it exclusively. I guess. So. <laughs> but Stop anyway. with the peer pressure. But anyway, Peer that was like, fuck you. Smoke it! <laughs> you also saw like, the first Kamehameha in the series. That was pretty freaking awesome. Like, the animation is... Yeah, that was in Dragon Ball. That was a long time ago. The first, I mean, in, the super, in Dragon Ball Super is what I mean. The new oh, so like, how, long, how many um, episodes have been already? Um, it's, it's still fairly new. Like, it said about... Four episodes now. Oh, okay. I was to say, I hope, it, I hope you don't say like ten and they haven't said comedy. I, 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 I prefer it to have the dub, but if there's only Japanese and English subs right now, I'm fine with that. I can live with that. All right. So, what other news you got? Well, World Trigger's doing pretty. good. I've never shown you World Trigger. Have a. It's a pretty good one. It's kind of like imagine there's a parallel universe. Huh. Oh God. But like, it's not that. It's like there's a whole other world. And like they're they're human people there. They call so them like fairy tales. No, not like fairy tale, but they're like neighbors. They call them neighbors because like when they first appeared. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like Mortal Kombat. That sounds sort like of. Outworld and Earthworld and but, another uh, realm. Dun, 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 and dun, dun, there dun. there are different there are different areas in the neighborhood on the other side. And mm-hmm. like they came to attack the human world to take. Apparently, if this is a good plot, actually, apparently inside their bodies there's a, a gland called the Trion gland. And Trion is an energy source. It can it can power weapons and all this kind of stuff, and it can form a weapon too. But but um, it's invisible. Is this like a slow emotional shit show? Like, no, it's uh, a good. It's a really funny action show. All right, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not but, like Attack on Titan. No, okay, it's pretty funny. Attack on it's, Titan. It's pretty so much Attack on Titan. It's pretty hysterical if you watch it. It's not worth it. But uh, worth apparently it. humans can't see the Trion gland. Trion, that's Trion, I think. Trion gland. So, but neighbors can. And like, but the, after the neighbors attacked the first time, we just we, we learned how to use triggers. Great neighbors, huh? <laughs> we, we learned how to use triggers. <laughs> that, I have their, their weapons. So basically, you say trigger on, and basically you get like a whole. Is it English sub yet? Not yet. It's English sub, yes, but uh, it's not not dubbed. Not dubbed. Shit. Apparently, you get like a weapon and a whole new bat suit, like a Trion body. Uh, yeah. So you, I don't know why I can't watch animes in Japanese. Because it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just like, I just become disinterested. Mm. I mean, even if there's subtitles. It's because you have to sit there and read yeah. the whole time. It, that, it basically, it yeah, I have to sit there I'll, and I'll look at that. what I they're mean, saying. I can do, if I'm really, really interested in it. That's why I probably couldn't get to Attack too. on Titan because, like, because instead of looking at what was going on, I was That's reading like the awesome text show, all the time. Have you seen that? What? Attack on Titan? It's not awesome. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Awesome. okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, like I've seen it on Adult Swim, so I'm, most time I'm like about to sleep, but it comes on. It comes on Adult Swim like it's three okay. o'clock at night, so I really can't judge that show. I'm like, it looks okay. It looks a little more emotional to me mm. than it's it, it's too the Japanese. I will say one thing: the Japanese do better than Amer- than maybe America. They're very good with their voice. They, they can do some emotional shit. Yeah, yeah they, they are very good with their voice. <laughs> their emotion. Well, they, it's they like can emotion like, like no other. other. Gildars. That was oh, emotional. Oh, bruh, bruh! Don't even get me started on that. That that was emotional. Did you like, see that? Did yeah, you see I, that? I, I oh my god. The oh. feels. The feels. But uh, anyway, the <laughs> yeah. Her turns out, Kana's father is the strongest wizard in Guildard. Uh, Gil- the strongest wizard in the guild. Guild. But anyway, there's like. Where did that name come from, though? Like, I don't know. Did, did you run out of names and just put Guild Arts? I mean, come on. You could have picked something better. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, basically, in that world, like uh, humans are fighting neighbors, but then it, then comes Yumakuga. Who's that? These, I got a new student at the you school. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like the guy from Samurai Jack. <laughs> the oh, big tall oh, guy. Samurai Jack. But, uh, Love that show! Basically, sorry, sorry. Basically, Dude, top five childhood shows. Oh my god, why didn't I bring up Samurai Jack? Samurai that Jack. show made my childhood. 
But basically, oh yeah. my gosh, I knew, I couldn't do that show justice if I said it though. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Keep, yeah, keep going. Keep basically, going. Yuma comes in and he meets the other character, Osamu, and basically it turns out like a, one of the neighbors say these little space quakes that are like portals for the neighbors to come through. Right. Mm-hmm. And this one comes through, and, and Osamu tries to fight it, and you know he fails epically because he's a low rank soldier in the army, mm-hmm. or in the tri- or in the uh, in the I forget what they're called exactly. Oh, it's Border. Border, the agency that fights them. So he tries to fight it, he fails. Next thing you know, Yuma breaks out. All right, don't go into the whole yeah, no. detail thing. I know, I'm just doing a short summary. Yuma breaks out his black trigger, which is apparently much stronger than a regular trigger. Like, it's incredibly stronger than a regular trigger. It sounds like Jack and Baxter's dark eco power. A little bit. But uh, mm-hmm. basically, he gets wrapped in this suit, except for his head. And he just takes his things out like that. Damn. It's really good animation. And basically, like, you find out... He's a humanoid neighbor, and there's like a whole bunch of humanoid neighbors that are just as powerful as him, which leads to like some other stuff. And like, there's a whole arc of it. It's, oh, honestly, it's honestly really good. You should watch it sometime. I mean, like, I wouldn't give it a chance. I'm, I'm not. I'm really good. I mean, like, as long as it's not as emotionally sad. Oh, as no. I mean, no. you gotta give it a chance. Mark told you about that other show, and you gave it a chance. Yeah, it worked out. You fairy tale. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, you I, I gave that show a chance, and I loved it. I love. Like, I still love. If you liked fairy tale, you like one trigger. All right, then I'll give it. I'll give it a chance. Something. Uh, it's not on Netflix, but it's on uh, a bunch of anime websites. Yeah, I'll find it. I'll, I'll try and find it. Anyway, so is there so is there anything else, or is that it? What's up? Well, I mean, I could talk about a bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be recent news. It has to be relevant. Recent. It has to be relevant. Well, I mean, I've seen a. Or I need to watch news of this today. These um, harem edgy animes I watch. Yes, yeah, harem edgy. It's like these all these girls going after this one guy. It's really Dude, funny. It's that really sounds pathetic. That sounds you good. watch those ones? It's, they're so I, funny. I see them. I see them. I know what they are. And you I'm know like, they're funny. You but know but funny. I'm just like they're not worth it. They all feel the same though. Dude, like, <laughs> it's just like the vampire maybe, diaries. Maybe it's even not in a one of them, and then you said it's like the vampire and diaries the went backwards. Dude, they're so oh, funny. Oh, the boys are chasing a chick. I mean, when you see like him get, when you see a guy get into an accident, just fall all over. The Wait a minute, isn't that the show you told me about where this guy's a girl from? Um, he has like a girlfriend that's like, I mean, like the daughter of a crime lord. Is that the one you told me about? Daughter of a crime lord. Yeah, and they're like they're together, but they don't want to be together. Well, I mean, like yeah, Nisa Koi. I love Nisa Koi. That that show looks so dumb. It's so funny though, dude. It's so funny. I yeah, love it. basically that show is like, I mean, this guy has a crush on this other chick, but he's a girlfriend with this other chick because like because he's the son of a crime lord. She's the daughter of a crime lord. So, so they have a war. They pretend to date. <laughs> And, okay. and you know, there's a bunch of other girls that end up liking him, so it's like a big old love conundrum. It's weird. It's so, it's funny, so weird. It's, it's so like, funny. It sounds like like I'm a Japanese porn orgy. You guys ever see that um show? What was it? Um, he's come like um kind of Death Note, I think. I've seen that. I love Death Note. That was a great show. The though. ending of that show was very like bruh. whoa, it's like, bruh. <laughs> dude. That was just like you imagine. You know, like, <laughs> like, I'll take a potato. That's chip how you go eat. out. <laughs> you know, if I, I had the Death Note. Oh my god. I'll, I'll like with you. You're, dead you're, you're dead, dead. you're dead, you're dead. But here's the thing: once, once you touch the death note, you can't go to heaven or hell. You're stuck. You're Damn, in the middle no. forever. Oh well, no, I'm not touching it then. Uh, not worth it. <laughs> I want to go to heaven. <laughs> not worth it. I'm pretty sure he went to hell anyway. He just killed a bunch of people. Yeah, it's true. You can't <laughs> die if you hold the death note. Oh, well, well, actually, no, he didn't die. die. Remember they shot him. Oh, that's right. Dude, was that was that the only one cheering when he got shot when Light got shot? I was like, I'm not gonna yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I was like, oh, man. Cause, I mean, what was that one anime show about that kid who had like the mind control powers in his eyes? Uh, I think it's, it's not Guilty Crown. What is it? It's um, it's like I mean, Code Geass. Yeah, it, it's Code Geass. It's just like I'm not, like, I'm, not, I'm not. This kid's like the prince of some like. He's got that one eye like manipulate people. Yeah, and the, the things you would do with that eye. The things you would do with that eye, the things I would do with that eye. I would have sex with somebody. The eye. <laughs> the eye. <laughs> I would just be like. Uh, let's see. You, you, and you. Bedroom. <laughs> and just in this news, many women rape. Don't know why. I wouldn't rape them. <laughs> yeah, you just manipulate Maybe. their will. That's right! No, exactly. If they didn't want to, if you didn't do it, they're mind control. What do they know? <laughs> what? It's their mind control. They <laughs> don't know. Rape. <laughs> that's that's No, it's not. That's <laughs> the same thing as put the bra on the influence. <laughs> Feminists are going to destroy us on this video, you know? <laughs> this part it's all it. his fault, okay? <laughs> Go to his channel and yell at him! I would have, I only have two videos on my channel. <laughs> well, yell at his two videos! <laughs> you horrible man! <laughs> Let's cut it out there before this goes any further. That's all not right. anime news. But wait, wait, wait. Right but, like, there was another great anime. It was called Bleach. Bleach? I that tried it out. Show. It was alright. I liked it at the beginning, but Bleach and Inuyasha kind of went, like... like they, they got they, sour at They just went, like, like totally different right. directions. Like, they went from this to, like... Over here, yeah. like I was like, whoa, where are yeah. we going? But Bleach Guys episode yeah. 63 and I was but, You know, like, um, my one of my all time favorite animes, Yu Yu Hakusho. I have uh, the series on YouTube and I'm going through each of the episodes. 
I like like every time I watch one of those episodes, like it's so nostalgic for me because I loved it as a child. And it's just like, wow, I remember that scene where we're like the five zombie guys. He goes, shotgun, and it's like blast of it was like, oh my god, this is so nostalgic. It feels so good. You actually show was a badass show. I you know, and I love this scene though where uh, where Junior, that little kid, Junior guy, I can't remember his name, but but his dad, his dad punishes him by giving him a hundred spankings, and you see a scene where him spanking him, bam, bam. Is this like me? Oh yeah, it's just. Do uh, you know? I thought about this the other day. How how you know a lot of animes kind of get based off of on Dragon Ball Z? A lot, a lot of animes a lot of have do. a Vegeta. You know, like they got that main good guy character, then they got yeah, that um, bad boy sort of. Yeah, you don't know if he's on your side or mm. not on yours. I was thinking about this, and I was like, well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, sh- and or you start off evil like. And um, Amy Washa, his brother, was really evil. He's this bad guy, but he wasn't always so bad. And he was yeah. like in this weird. Well, it's strange how they're, they're they're always so like that. Yeah, yeah, animated. Animated. Dragon Ball. Well, I mean, there's a few like that. There's Gajiel, and there's um. I wouldn't call Gajiel Vegeta. He was before. He was. I mean, it was like. I mean, I, I know I you're not think a fan. His rivalry with Natsu is very much. I know like you're not a fan Vegeta. of um. Naruto, but Sasuke kind of would fit that mold because he I'm was on the other end. But I know the rivalry. But he's on the other end. There's always something like a um, Vegeta like character in all, all yeah, of the yeah, animes right. we watch. Well, but that's what I mean. You you see how much Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z have influenced so yeah, many animes. They're a big inspiration to a lot of animes. Because you know what? That's why I say that you judge other animes. I judge every anime by Dragon Ball. One of, the not biggest Dragon Ball's the what? one of the big ones that influenced was Hunter x Hunter. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a, it's a good one, I'd say. It's they redid it in 2011. What was that uh, anime t- what movie that came on Tsunami years and years ago about like that daughter, like the girl whose parents turned into pigs because they ate that food? Remember that? You talking about that? Um, that really creepy one. You mean the really deep? Um, I really know deep story. Well, remember? All right. Um, didn't you have, like, I have to mention the character? No, wait, wait, no. Like I, one of the characters was a super old witch lady that had like a giant head. And, I know like, what you're talking about. Shit. Was it like Castaway? Wished away? Cast away? Mm-hmm. Month? No. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, I know what you're talking about because they won like yeah, a shitload of awards. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, they won a shitload yeah, because, of awards. Yeah, because yeah, no, because no, they got lost, and then and like all of you see like these like these hundreds of stalls with these restaurants, and, and like her parents start eating, and they turn into pigs, and then like and then like she goes into like this alternate like, right. parallel universe, something like that, and then it's like the story is dark, like but like it's the, so they, mysterious. I told you, the, the, the Japanese can get so dark, and, and they want that to. show like, is so. Dark. They can hear. I can read. It was like dark. They're in Japan. They're not afraid to push the limits. Like no, they're not. I mean, that show though. I mean, like was so dark because like I mean, for some reason, like as soon as her parents turned to pigs, it was like. But they actually weren't really pigs. I mean, like it was sort of like a mirror universe. I don't really know how to explain it because it was so mysterious, and you don't even know. You don't know what goes on because I mean, because like everything happened so quick, and you're just like, wait, 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 what happened? What happened? I gotta look. But too late. <laughs> Goodbye. You blinked. Pretty much. Goodbye. And then, like, um, there's another anime a long time ago that pushed the same boundary. It was like, um, this the, this guy was a traitor, and like he was, and then like there were like animal spirits that were turning into demons mm-hmm. or something like that. And, and like, that he was gonna turn, and, and then like he was gonna turn into a demon if he kept fighting. Like every time he actually was in combat, I mean, like like his demon curse would get like bigger and bigger. I can't remember, but it was like the demon designs for all these different animal spirits. Were so disgusting. They are very bad. I was like, like, and, and like the only game that made me think of was Bloodborne. All like the Great One demons you fight look disgusting. All, the, all like the unique uh, god slash demon slash spirit thing de- the deities that you fight are so gross looking. Like, all right, there was this one in Bloodborne where it was a. Um, They're going so off topic. I know we are talking uh, way off. But it's but it's relevant. But it's not. Kind of. I mean, is it going to be anime? <laughs> well, it does because it influenced like these like these designs. I mean, like, there's this one boss you fight in Bloodborne that was like, it's like it was like, all right, imagine a spider head with all these weird gaping fungus tentacles and shit, a big tentacle beard, weird bat wings, and like it was just the most disgusting. It was like, all right, imagine all the horrifying insects and creatures mixed together with one. That's how I decide. That's how you design the great ones. That's like the bosses you fight in Bloodborne, and then. When you talk about this anime, it was the exact same design. It was gross. That like these uh, demons look disgusting. Anime. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, is there any other news before I go off even further? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean, I could, but I don't really want to bring it up. Well, it has to be relevant. It's I have it's relevant. Then bring it up. So. I still have some new stuff to watch, but you can just turn it off anyway. We just leave it here. All right. Well, anyway, that guys, thank you for joining us on Comic Game Movie Show, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.